Hey everyone. Well, here we are, back again with another video. It's a fine Saturday morning. Actually, it's not. It's kind of raining out, but it's Saturday morning. No work. Take it as a good thing. All right. I don't know what's going on lately, but then these microphone companies just don't. They haven't stopped sending me microphones, so um, I don't know if I'm doing a good job or they're just trying to bombard me or, or what, but I got another one here, and I haven't unboxed it yet, so we're going to do a quick unboxing on it. It's made by a company by the name of V-E-G-U-E, -E, so almost like Vigj. Somebody told me say it, Vigu, but that, Vigu does doesn't sound right. V Vigu, Vigu. Uh, nah, I'd have to go with probably like Vig, Vig, Vig or something like that. VM50. It's a condenser cardioid microphone. So what we're going to do is a quick unboxing on this. It came in, I'd have to say yesterday. So looking at the back of it over here, I can see that it's definitely a, it's a cardioid pattern. Cardi, cardioid pattern. It's plug and play. Clear sound. So let's 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 see what's in there. I, I, I didn't know if I even take a quick peek on inside. See what we get. Oh, comes in a nice box. Packaged well so far. Feels good. Okay, the start we have. Again, I gotta give these microphone companies credit. They really do a good job with their manuals. Unlike some other places, other things I've gotten where it was like, you, know, you plug it in, you know, use the thing, good luck, bye. Um, no, they do everything. Okay, great, so. Better to show you than to read it out of a book. All right, so here we are. It is packaged nice, and if you have C on your computer, you're golden. If you have A, you're still golden. On the opposite end, I'm gonna stretch this out. Oh yeah, easy six feet. My arms spread over about five feet or so, and we have another USB-C. Okay, so there's our, so you can see, um, I've, I've seen a few other devices that had this um, type of cable on it where uh, you have an A and a C so you could have multiple adapters if you have it like on a, um, a PC. If you have C, you know, use it. What the heck? I, loved, I, I love using C. Um, and basically it's USB 1.1 2.0, however they have it. Again, on the other end, we're USB-C. Okay, the microphone itself, wow. Okay, so far, so good. It has some nice, mm -mm. it has some nice rubber padding on the bottom. It's all solid steel. So it, it holds well. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. It has a mic output, I'm, I'm sorry, a headphone out jack on the bottom as well as your USB-C. It has a knob in the front for volume control. Let's see if it just spins and spins. Okay, so it, it has a, a start and a stop. It doesn't spin and spin like some things do and that is like, I hate it when that stuff happens. Um, what about Okay, so it has a mute. Nothing for a headphone volume. So I guess if you were going to do some editing with it, that's something you could take care of in your editor, and most people are going to. Um, we are going to test it out in a few minutes. Comes with a nice shock mount. Seems to fit right in there nice. Got the rubber bands. I like the design of it. I like the shape. This is all metal. This whole thing is metal. Okay. Um, it has also what I would consider a professional grade, if you want to call it, I guess, your pop filter or your spit filter. Some people call it whatever. I would rather call it a pop filter. Um, it's got a metal 
screen type to it probably in between it has a little bit of nylon and on the opposite side of it again it's got some screen I would imagine that's how it's made wow it's pretty thick so it's a nice looking nice very nice looking the 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 Vigu Vigu uh, Vige MV50 we're gonna give it a test see how it sounds I'm probably not gonna do a comparison against other mics because right now I am running a a um, a Wave three with the filter and the shock mount and everything on it and it's absolutely a gorgeous mic and instead of uh, I will I'll, I'll do a comparison I'm not gonna run them both at the same time plugging things in plugging things out because that one obviously comes with with a um, with a control panel and filters and you can take it so much further so I'm gonna shut the filter off the co control panel and um, I'll tell you how this sounds compared to it I'll give you a good honest good honest opinion about it yeah pops right on if you can you know if you got a little bit of fingernail um, nice plastic frame it's probably the only thing on the on the mic that's plastic and a metal a metal uh, filter I do like the shape of it the round shape to it it's got a kind of a unique look to it like more professional um, the good old egg shaped style mics are kind of overkill so it doesn't look like it has any RGB the only thing I'm thinking is, is probably this is raised and it looks like it's clear I would think that the front might light up when you yeah so we'll, we'll check it we'll see how it sounds all right we're back as you can see the mics here um, obviously it's here so right now I'm speaking to you at about 25 percent on this microphone from approximately eight inches away which is pretty much ideal uh, a lot of mics when you're speaking into them like this type of a mic it has a broad spectrum of where it can pick up it's not like a um, one of the XLR microphones where you can speak directly into it a lot of these type of mics uh, you don't really need to speak right into it you can actually you get less pop and, and sound if you speak past it so anyways for a quick test I'm gonna put it up to 50 percent now I have already tested this mic myself before I did the rest of this obviously because I wanted to make sure it was gonna work so here we are at 50%, and I, I was pretty impressed. I got to say, these microphone companies, this, this company is doing a great job. It's clear. For a plug-and-play mic where you don't have a, 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 like a, a Wavelink program like, like with, with, with the Elgato, they do a really nice job. For someone who's just beginning, you want to get out there, Highly recommend it. This 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 is really a nice mic. I this is one of the nicest ones I've reviewed in a while. I like the looks. I like the filter it came with. I like that everything's removable so easy to shock mount. Um, the only thing I'm looking at is it doesn't really look like it has an attachment. I'm gonna have to talk to the company and see if they make s the same mic that comes with a boom arm. Maybe it's got a different shock mount attachment. Anyways, let's give it a test at 75 percent. This is a mic test at 75% from approximately 8 inches away. Speaking directly into the mic. Speaking off to the left of the mic. Speaking off to the right of the mic. Let's turn it around. This is what the microphone would sound like if you were speaking from the back of it. Again, it's got a cardio pattern. 
And it's kind of like a, I'll tell you from the front. Cardio patent mics are kind of nice. You're speaking to them from the front. It's kind of got this weird, like, heart-shaped bubble that collects your voice. Let me do some tapping on the desk at 75%. That would be something that you would get with like a heavy duty type mechanical keyboard. Softer tapping. If the shock mount's doing its job, it sh its job, it shouldn't have picked up really any vibration. Okay, so a little bit of testing. It's a $60 mic. You can pick it up at Amazon. I'm gonna have a link down below where you can go to Amazon and pick it up. Just be waiting outside because it might come flying over the fence. It could go on the sidewalk. You never know where it's gonna end up. So you gotta be ready. This is why they don't like me over there. But it's only the truth. You see the nightmare videos on it? Oh my God. Anyways, let's test it one more time at 100%. This is a mic test of the VM50 at 100%. 100%. From eight inches away. Let's bring it down to around 60% where it normally should be. Okay, so we're at 60% from about eight inches away. So, anyways, yeah, I don't I don't know a lot of the terminology for microphones and all that. I know they plosives for the Peter Piper picked a pack of cigarettes. I I, I don't know. Pickled peppers on someone else a kid cracks me up he does the reviews and he does the Peter Piper thing but it totally comes out with like a whole different words and and then he likes to whisper into the mic and talk to the mic and tell you nah, you know kind of strange but hey it is what it is um, but he does it he does do a good review anyways this has been my review of the Vigu or Vege MV50 USB condenser microphone. Like I said, I did do a short sound test on it prior to doing the rest of this review, and it was crystal clear. The microphone can be picked up on Amazon, possibly Newegg, um, even at a number of other places. Maybe Sweetwater carries it, I'm not sure. For $60, it, it's, it's an excellent deal. I'll give it an A+. Plus. For the dollar, a $60 microphone, this thing gets a 10 all day long. There's just no getting around it. I mean, I've had a few of them that I couldn't give that good because it, it was muffly, baffly. just didn't sound right when I edited the video and... Editing the video, I mean editing the video, not the audio. I don't add any filters. I don't. I don't clean it up after. What you hear on the vid on this video is what you're hearing. That's it. What's the sense of doing a review on a microphone, unless I'm going to do a review on a microphone on how many ways you can make it sound better? That's not the idea of going out and buying a sixty-dollar USB condenser microphone. You want to be able to go out and get something to plug and play. You want to be able to get on uh, Discord. You just want to be able to shoot the crap with your buddies. It's still early. I need about 10 more cups of coffee. So I'm going to get to work on cleaning up this video. Get this put out. Let my friends know over there at Vigu uh, Vija. Man, I wish I knew how to pronounce this thing. Maybe somebody can write me. Tell me what you think. Is it Vigu? Because if there was an A in there, it could have been like vague. It sounds almost like a French word. It's a Chinese company. So I, I, I'm not quite sure. Pretty sure Chinese. Let me look. Made in China. But what isn't? Anyways. Again. I'd like to thank um, 
Vegu. I'd like to thank you guys that make this microphone for giving me the opportunity to do a test. And I'd also like to thank all of my people out there that come and watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It's all free. We get some good content going and we're going to be getting some better content coming in the near future. If you're already subscribed, don't forget to give a thumbs up, guys. Buddy. Wrapping this up. Have a great day. And again, don't be shy to go out and buy this microphone if you're looking for a nice, inexpensive, heavy-duty, good-sounding microphone. This will do the trick.